this is your flight attendant speaking. Thanks, Bidicom. You did an awesome job. I sat there and had lunch, and me and Ness may or may not have been playing like six different musical instruments over the time. But without further ado, I'm back. Bioshock Infinite, we got the Midwest Speed Fest legend, Ben. I'm going to be showing off some Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea. Something that you don't normally see in a marathon, and you're going to see it here. After that, it is the Mortal Kombat block. You got 1, 2, 3, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 by Dark Tenka and Peanut Fan. And then that ends us off for me for the night doing some Barney Hide and Seek co-op any percent no controller with Ness and then Ness with Super Monkey Ball Deluxe um, so stick around also speaking about that Super Monkey Ball Deluxe run donate towards it or I don't know we're doing some logistical things but donate towards it we're currently at $929 which is really awesome we're almost to that 1000 mark and yeah y'all should donate but without further ado, we're going to set up Ben. Well, knowing Ben, he's, like, been ready since about eight hours ago. But um, we'll get Ben in here, and we'll get started on some Bioshock Infinite. Just, I'm going to go get him ready. further ado, the Midwest Speed Fest legend, Ben, <laughs> will be Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea, so, Ben, yeah. take it away. All right, hello, hello, hello everybody, I am Benedictator, <laughs> legend, I don't know about that, I like to do speedruns, that's very kind of you, I'm, I'm very humbled by that, uh, all right, well yeah, we're going to be doing some Bioshock uh, Infinite Burial at Sea, episode one, all collectibles, that's that's a mouthful. That's a lot. That's that's uh, an incredibly long title for like a half an hour speedrun. Um, but it's cool. The the Burial at Sea um, DLCs for Bioshock Infinite are pretty cool. They bring you back to Rapture, which is neat. And uh, Burial at Sea Episode 1, in particular, we get to visit one of our favorite characters from the original Bioshock game, Sander Cohen, who's kind of a crazy, crazy uh, artist guy. He's a very lov lovable character from the series. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so I'll, I'll try to do the countdown as best I can, but it's kind of weird to time it out. Like, the as soon as I start the game, there will be a loading screen, and as soon as the loading screen is done, that's when the timer starts. But it's like, 
there's no like really easy good visual cues uh, for me to time it down so so just be ready for it uh, but otherwise real quick I guess before we get started I'll just kind of give a shout out to my my Bioshock speedrunning crew um, yeah I'm, I'm trying to remember there's there's I don't do the uh, the Bioshock infinite as much as I do the the Bioshock one and two but but I've been doing doing the infinite stuff a little bit um, but yeah there's there's a lot of really good good folks in that community friendly for anybody who's might be looking for another game to run. Um, cool people there. Yeah, so so good on them. Anyways, let's get started. So like I say, the crew. Hey, there's Cross Run. What's up? Yeah. Uh, Alright, so like I say, as soon as this little loading screen is done, it'll start probably like 3, 2, 1, maybe. There, yep, yeah, there we go. Start, start now. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, so this run's really, really kind of a weird one. It's it's really, especially like the any percent run is even stranger just because of the um, the timing of it. Like, like the any percent run, like half the run is just running around the city talking to people, and then there's like four tricks and like four fights. That's like the whole run for any percent. It's it's a really goofy run. Uh, the pacing of it is just strange. This one, thankfully, there's a little more going on. There's a little more to it, which is makes it a little more entertaining. But still. Like, the first third of it is us just kind of running around this town, not not attacking anybody. We just talk to people as fast as we can, turbo talking. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Here we go. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. This girl's dead. You'll see dozens of her type down by the dock. These, uh, these DLCs are kind of, um... A little morose, a little dark, a little on the dark side. They're pretty cool. They they have like a different feel from the main Bioshock Infinite game. They're a little bit um less on the crazy action, a little more of a dark, serious tone. But they're cool. I don't know what gratis is, but I'll do it for free. No soft lock, yay! If you like. Open that door on just the wrong frame. You can soft lock it, and it'll like never open for you. Seems my instincts were correct. What's this girl? All right, and here we go. Time to talk to people really fast. We're gonna run really fast, and we're gonna talk to people, and then we're gonna run to other places, and talk to other people. It's pretty exciting, to be honest. Hop over this guy. We're gonna do a little duck thing here. That's pretty special. All right, there we go. So there's a handful of things that we'll be collecting in this run. We're going to get some audio diaries. Audio diaries in this game kind of sort of tell the background story in the game as you go along. They're kind of cool. We won't really, like, really be listening to all of them, but we'll be collecting all of them. Collect some infusions. Infusions are like your upgrades. You upgrade your health or upgrade your magic or your shields. So we'll be collecting all those. Here's our first audio diary behind the counter there. Sneaky. What a sneaky place. I hate it. And we'll come on over here and ride up this little elevator. Trying to think, what else do we collect? We collect like plasmids, weapons. There's a handful of weapons that we'll want to be collecting. And that's that's it. I think that's all the collectibles. Uh, ooh, look at that! You can see some fishies. A turtle. Hi, buddy. There's some fishies. Hi, fishies. That's neat. That's fun. Sir Prize. Oh, what a fun name for a casino. There's a big daddy. He's gonna go ahead and fix up that sign. What a friendly guy. What a nice dude. Boom, boom, boom. Flashbacks. I'm fine. I just hallucinate sometimes. It's cool. Don't worry about it. We're good. Oh, what a neat trick. Look at that. How special. So this, this takes place, I think it's like supposed to be like a year before um, Bioshock 1. So this is before everything went bad. Big daddies are just misunderstood. They're really kind of the victim, like in, in Rapture. Like, they're definitely like big baddies if you, only if you attack their little sisters. Uh, yeah, they, the big daddies, they got the raw end of the deal, if, if you know the lore. It's a lot of prisoners. Prisoners. In Rapture, people who broke the law or weren't on Andy Ryan's side, they got they got turned into big daddies against their will. The business of Rapture is business. Oh, that's fun. 
and we'll go talk to more people. We get a clackety. There we go. We open that door real fast. Elizabeth's pretty cool sidekick. I think so. I think I think she's pretty well accepted by the general community. I think she's an appreciated sidekick. Sometimes you get the bad ones in video games. She's not so bad. All right, let's go get audio diaries. I didn't see one. Also, didn't look for one. Got that? We got that out of your diary. Get out of my way, Elizabeth. Move. I was just talking about how good of a sidekick you were. Stop that. All right. 2076. 2076. That's our thing here. One, two, zero, seven, and six. These turn so slow. We got it. Audio diary. Here I come. Here. There we go. Got it. First try. All right. Now we'll climb upstairs, talk to some more people. Time to talk to some more people. Oh, cool. I got a little bit of a gold split earlier. That's neat. There's, I'll probably get like a handful of gold splits. There's a lot of little sub splits in this in this run. See that tater tot hot dish I walked in with? Shout out to anybody who knows what tater tot hot dish is. It's amazing and delicious. All right. Go collect our mask. The Glod, the Glod, right? It's real. It's real. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. I'm gonna jump over his head. Watch this. I'm good at this. Boink. Oh, bounced on you, son. Bounced on you. Assert dominance. Bounce on their heads. Elizabeth, you can tone it down. It's kind of a bit much. You're overdoing it a little bit. Get her audio diary here. Got that. Nice. How fun. Let's go get it. All right. Here we go. Now we get to go meet Sander Cohen. He's a cool dude. He's kind of weird and crazy. But he's fun. He's fun. It's a good time. During this part, you can hop, hopefully move a little bit faster, bounce around, bounce around. In the words of Criss Cross, Daddy Mac is going to make you jump, jump. So that's what we do. My motto in life is always listen to Criss Cross and, and follow their words of wisdom. Just a general life principle. I also, following the same crisscross principle, wear my pants backwards. That's not true. That would be ridiculous. But crisscross, the rap band from the 90s did do that. They did wear their pants backwards. That was like their thing. For anybody who wants to learn, learn a thing about old school 90s rap groups. Easier access to your wallet. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. I can't argue with that logic. That is 100% true. This guy has an awful way of greeting people. Like, watch this. The first thing he, like, officially says to you. Who are you? Screams right in your face. Calm down, maybe say hi first. You can just ask me who I am, like a normal person. Don't have to, to yell right at me. Whatever, that's fine. Isn't he a biscuit, lady? A biscuit? Okay. It is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. To answer. Such a biscuit. I've been called worse. I'll go with biscuit. That's not so bad. Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But 
I know the child in that photo is important. So many children ripped, ripped, slid away. Okay. He always, his, all his answers are really weird and cryptic. That, I can't imagine how annoying it would be talking to someone like that in real life. Like, man, just give me an answer. Goodness. A dance. A dance. Well, that's not creepy at all. Okay. 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 Let's do it. Come, come. All right. There. I shudder to think what greater price he might care to extract. And now we start square dancing. That would be great. Oh my god, if we just start like square dancing or like doing some weird kind of dance. The robot. We just bust out some break dancing. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. Those types like the capital of people in Ryan and Susan. I didn't know it. Oh, well, that is a long time to be asking somebody a question. Calm down, Sander Cohen. Oh! Oh, Zap! Oh, snap! Like, you can see the, the other people who suffered a similar fate just hanging above you. Those are cool sun and moon costumes, let's be real. They're just dangling. Just dangling, probably having a nap up there. Alright. Yeah, so like I say, like the first for any percent, this is like the first half of the run. For all collectibles, it's more like the first like third or so. Um, but it's a lot of this. <laughs> it's a lot of this. It gets more exciting, like after this this cutscene is finished, and it, it actually turns into like a normalish speedrun. They make Rapture look pretty cool, right? That looks pretty awesome. I do like how they make Rapture actually look like a dope, like, super sweet place to live. Like, before it went all bad. <laughs> it's a crab boys! Hi, buds! More little crabbies. Oh, a shark boy! What's up, man? He's got a sharky man. Oh, and that is very ominous looking. Spoopy. Spoopy. Time for crab. <laughs> Is it time? <laughs> it definitely is time for crab. Oh. That's creepy. <sighs> Nakey. Oh, gross. It's a mannequin, but ew. That's like, almost like nudity, but it's not. But it still kind of makes you feel dirty. <laughs> or maybe, maybe not. We're all buried at sea. That's fine. Okay, so here we actually start doing like normal, normal speedrunny stuff. It actually does start out with kind of a cool trick. Before we get into any of the combat, we gotta do like a little bit of a... A little bit of a platformy, out of bounds kind of. Not really out of bounds, but it's definitely a trick. Hopefully, uh, it's good to us. Sometimes, usually, this isn't so bad, but sometimes it gives me a lot of difficulty. It's given me a little bit of difficulty so far. It's not like like that hard of a trick, but it's also easy enough to like not do right. There we go. Uh, that wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst I've ever done. Alright, alright. Here we go. 
So that's kind of a cool trick. A little, a little hop, a little hop you get over that barrier. <laughs> Usually you gotta wait, watch like a big long cutscene, so you can just skip right over that. So it becomes a blur. Hey, you weren't supposed to be there, right? Like, pardon me, don't worry, don't worry. Don't mind me, I'm just hopping around. Doing a little hopsies. All right. Got him. Oh, am I out of ammo? There we go. So we want to stare at this. We got to stare at this in order to trigger the next sequence. She'll go talk about that area, and then she'll come and stare at the sign, and we'll be able to move on. Oh, look. Mr. DeWitt, look. You mean that this thing I'm staring at? There you go. As soon as she says that, we can move on. Oh, there we go. Come on. Get over there. Come on. Let's go. There we go. <sighs> Excuse me. Watch your language, sir. All right, so hopefully we can kill all these people on the bottom floor here. He did a thing. Oh, yeah. I did do a thing. Hopefully I can kill all these guys. And we'll hop up here. Like I say, we'll hope they're all dead and we'll come over here. We're gonna grab a thing and a thing. Where is it? I got it. All right, there we go. Yep, looks like they're all dead. Good, so I can pick that lock real quick. Nice. Norm some if you don't do it just right, like then you have to fight a whole bunch of people and it takes her a long time to pick this lock. But we good. All right, now we're gonna come down here and get a piece of gear. Bye guys, don't worry about me. Bye, bye. Bye, don't worry about me. I'll see you guys later, that was fun. I'm just gonna go over here and get this. Give me some more infusion so I can cast more spells. Get that and then we'll go. We'll go, we're done here, bye. All right, now I need to go up here. Oh, where's the thing, there it is. I'm gonna come here and get some stuff in here real quick. Where is it? It's right in, there it is. I need to get that and a lockpick right there. Got it, all right, we can get out of here. Now we need to go get another lockpick and another piece of gear. Yeah, so this is, this gets a bit chaotic with the uh, all collectibles. It's a lot of collecting stuff, hence the uh, all collectibleness of it. All right, so we got that. Haberdashery, log and gear, right in here. The log and gear are in the back. We're gonna do a little bit of out of bounds action after that. There's the log. There's the gear. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move out of this place. All right. So we're gonna do a little out of uh, out of bounds trick right here. We're gonna come on. Let's let's, let's hop there. There we go. Good stuff. Woo! Oh, they bounced me off it. How weird. Oh, I might actually have to like kill these people. Hopefully not. All right. Out of bounds. Oh oh, weird. I, they like turn me around. Oh my god, come on, don't kill me. Let me get out of here. Alright, I think the next time I take damage I might die. Oh, there it was. <laughs> Alright, so it's not like a super hard thing to do. But I was having a little bit of be there. Let's try it again. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, 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 nope, this way. Oh my god, way back here. Alright. Yeah, usually I'm, I'm able to get through there without dying. That was being a little rough to me. It was not, not being kind. It'll happen sometimes. It'll happen sometimes. Here we go. Here we go. We got up there first jump. Come on now. Oh my goodness. Sometimes, sometimes it'd it be like this. It'd be in like this today. So you gotta like aim down sights after you jump and it like bounces you in. But it is not, not... Not loving it with me today here. Come on. Oh, ha, ha, first try even. Look at that. Beautiful. First try. Let me just hop over this way. That's how the pros do it right there, just so you guys know. It pretty much doesn't get better than that. That was very clean. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get a lockpick in here. Let's go get it. It's going to be right up here. That was really rough. I don't know if I've ever had that much trouble with that particular little little bump there. 
Alright, now we're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff in this little area. But we gotta kill these people first. Where's the other person? Right over here. There you go. We get a lockpick. I believe we need to get another lockpick. 0928. Bow. 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 Alright, two lockpicks, a log, and a gear. Here's the other lockpick, there's the gear. There's gonna be a log in this back area. Got it, and we're ready to roll on. We're ready to roll on. And then we're gonna get the jewelry log. That is gonna be right over this way. Yes, okay, in the jewelry store, which is down here. Bye. Pardon me, pardon me. I just need to get over here. Excuse me. Log, infusion, and a lockpick, and I'm gonna have to kill everybody in here. Cow. Cow. Did I miss? Wow, I'm having a hard time with that, I guess, huh? I, don't have anything. I will take that, thank you. Where is this guy, right here? Where are you hiding? Get back over here. I'll take some ammo, probably, probably a good thing for me to have. That was a little, little bit of a rough fight there. Alright. So log, infusion, and lockpick. I'll get two of the things over here, and then one thing when I get out of this room. There is the log and the lock picks right there and the infusions right there. But that's a sneaky person right there, see? Sneaky. Alright. Please unlock this. Alright, now we're gonna get the shock jockey. Hopefully I can I'm able to uh, unlock this safe before we actually get the uh, shock jockey. We're gonna see how it pans out for us. So we gotta go down. Oh wait. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh. Interesting. I don't think I actually was supposed to be able to make it down here. Um Okay! Back up there. I did I did it wrong. Hold on. Oh my gosh. That's weird. That's like not supposed to let you go uh down there. That that jump did not not work correctly. That was that was very interesting. I didn't want it to take me down there. Oh god. Alright, that's alright. We can get back there. It'll only take a second. Hopefully. Does that guy not see me? It sounds like it. Alright, that was a little easier that time. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, are you serious? This is being very mean to me. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> oh, it is not loving me today. This is this is very unfortunate. I would call this that's that's that good old uh, that's weird. I've never had that happen before. I'll call this your classic uh, marathon luck here. It's this is a pretty pretty typical story. Well, thank you. I'm actually not going to grab that from you. All right, there we go. This should be good. All right, excellent. Holy cow. Oh, there's the jump I was looking for. All right, there we go. Holy cow. I also managed to make that look a lot more difficult than it is, um, but I'm just glad we got through there. Are we good? Can I have you unlock this? We're still in combat. There must be an enemy. Where are you? Oh, there we go. There's two of them. I'll take that. All right, clip him like a champ. Yeah, that was that was a little rough, huh? There we go. Can you open this? Looks Professional speedrunning at its finest. Basically, I mean that's pretty accurate, right? I nailed it. All right, so we're gonna hopefully take out these two before summoning the next fight. Oh uh, nope, didn't work. Didn't work. Sometimes it works, not always. Sometimes these two like just don't don't notice you at first. Um, and all I was trying to do, oh, you're alive still, there you go, was trying to take those, care of those two real quick, and then unlock that safe while I was getting the shock jockey. Every once in a while it works, usually not. Got it. Got that. Little platforming here, you're not really, like, supposed to be able to hop up there, but it's, like, a really easy hop to do. Alright, 
We're gonna get another weapon. And we're gonna go get our little ice plasmid. Or vigor. Vigor, they call it here. It's breathing in here. Yeah, it is. It'll be right up here to the right. We get our carbine. Let me get the thing. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Now we're gonna fight kind of like a mini boss type thing. It's a guy with a powerful vigor. But like, I can kill him with one hit right there, so I don't know. I don't know if you want to call that a boss or not. I am hurt. I will take that. Thank you. Is there somebody else? Yeah, there we go. I think that's everybody. Got him. That fight was okay. It could have been a little bit faster, but that honestly wasn't wasn't too terrible. Okay. So what Elizabeth do her thing? We'll go collect some loots here. All right. Sense, right? Where'd you find that? You don't expect a girl to share all her secrets, do you, Mr. DeWitt? I guess not. Okay. We'll do the thing. Oops, didn't need to do that. There we go. Alright. There we are, there we are. Now we get out of here. Open this door. This door takes a while to open, so while that's opening, we can come all the way back here. And collect this stuff without having to worry too much about our time. Alright. Now we'll go down our little elevator. Oh, okay, lady. I'm fine with our arrangement. Let's do it. Oh, come on. I'm trying to jump. There we go. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought it was going to be all weird on me again for some reason. All right, there we go. Got it. And our next little piece of gear is going to be right at the bottom of this elevator. Right here. Right here. Whoop. Got it. All right. Now we're going to go over this way, and we're going to get a shotgun and a lockpick and a... Uh, was it an infusion? I think it's an infusion we're getting here. Three things. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and summon this samurai to keep those guys busy. Get that shotgun, we'll get our audio diary, and we'll get our infusion. Boom. Got all those things, and we will move on. Bye, guys. See you later. You guys have fun fighting that fake enemy. Got it. Oh, hi, friends. Bye. Pardon me. Out of my way. Alright, we'll get a couple more things here, and then we'll be kind of done with this part of the level. Let's get that gear there. We got a little lockpick over here that we'll need. Got that, and we'll get out of here. I don't know. You have a reason for every stupid thing you've ever done. Alright, alright, let's go. Okay, so now we'll do a little another little elevator ride thing here, and then we'll do like the the last little half of the half of the speed run. So there we go. Well, other than that, that uh, <laughs> we had we had a little bit of trouble with with some of that spots there. Some of those some of those sequences weren't weren't working out the way that I would have loved, but that's all right. That's all right. We made it. We made it this far. That's what matters. And we made it together as a team. You and I. Look at that little fishy. He's got his own little lantern. What a special guy. And sharp little teethers. million dollars okay so we're gonna have to kill this guy as soon as we hop out of this little bathy sphere here 
we'll kill him as speedy quick as we can. But there's like a little bit of an RNG thing where like maybe Elizabeth will hop out of this elevator fast and start running towards the next spot, or maybe she'll do it really slow. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe she'll take mercy on me and be nice and, and go a little fast. It only saves like a second or two. It's not even a big deal. But it is like a little RNG thing. Oh, she's being very slow. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen her actually go that slow. <laughs> that might be a record of slowness. No, seriously, I don't know if I've ever turned around and seen her like staring backwards. Sally, come out of there. But yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Alright, so we got a little bit of time to go collect some loot while she's like looking in this little looking this little thing there. Maybe we'll get some ammos or monies or something like that. You know, you know. Uh, we'll not drink that alcohol because that alcohol will drain my uh, drain my plasmids, drain my my salts. Do we have her pick that lock there? Another another second or two to collect a few more loots. I think I already collected it all. I think we're good. Got it. We got it all. Okay. Now we're gonna fight some people. Fight some people and collect more things. Time for the, the actual run. So these guys, we're gonna get that. Collect this. We gotta do like a little death warp thing here. But I wanna try to make sure all these people are dead before I do it. Alright, there we go. That's good. Wait, is there one more alive? Oh yeah, I want you dead for sure. Alright, there we go. So, really quick before we uh, take too much damage. We're gonna go to the gameplay. Change it to hard real quick so we die really fast. Oops. We're gonna make sure to get that before we die. Oh shit, did I not get it? Oh, I don't think I got it. I gotta go back. Oh dang it. Oh, oh snap. Did I not get it? Oh, I got it. Okay, nope, we're good. Alright, I thought I didn't get it for a second. But we are fine. So we're gonna change the gameplay back to easy. Alright. Got it, got it. Alright. So, we did that. What? You're still alive? That's nonsense. I know I definitely killed you. Got him. Alright. 39.58 is the next little vent that I gotta open up. 39.58. It's good if you sing it. it. Helps you to remember things. We're gonna smash her. We're gonna try to close this gate before they notice us if we can. Oh, almost. Oh. Come on, no, no, I want to get you both in one shot. There we go, that makes it a lot easier. You too, there we go. Close that vent. If you can um, close it before they notice you, you can just close it and move on real quick. All right, 39.58. We're gonna get the thing. Oh, look at that, we got a cool new weapon. All right, now we're gonna go to services place and get the log should be right down here got him got that guy lol all right let's move and we're gonna roast these guys with this get that there we go got that close this and now hopefully this next vent is going to be guarded by a lot of people, but if I'm really good, I might be able to, uh, to close this vent before all these people see me. But this one's really tough. This is the hardest one to do that with. So let's see if we can run the corner. Oh, I thought I was going to get it for a second. We'll just kill these people as fast as we can. Oh, Elizabeth, I thought you were the bad guy. You are not a bad guy. There we go. Ooh, give that to me. Yes, thank you. Alright, now we'll close this. Slow fight. Yeah, that's usually about how it goes. Every once in a while, if you hop up here and get to that thing super, super, super quick, you can close it before any of those enemies see you and just move on to this spot. No luck for me today. No luck for this guy. Alright, so we're going to get all the ammo. Thank you. That's, 
a nice welcoming gesture of you. All right, apparently I don't have money for all the ammo, but that's okay. We got a lot of the ammo. Close enough. We'll have her pick this as soon as she's done there. Oh, did I, did I do things too fast? I might have to just have her. I might have to have her pick that lock again later. I don't know if I got it. All right. So we got to kind of do a little bit of backtracking here. We're going to go this way, and we're going to get a log and a piece of gear, and then we'll go back to where we just were. All right, there we go. We did the thing. There's the log, there's the gear, and we can get out of here. We got it. Look at that. How special. That was super speedy and fast. Super speedy and fast. Go on, just wait. Come on, let's move. Let's move. All right. Let me get our uh, old man winner out. Actually, not quite yet. Oh yeah, looks like we didn't. We didn't. I didn't do it right. I didn't never. Uh, I want to get my shotgun out here. Never pick it earlier. Oh well, that's fine. Got him. That was a good enough fight. We'll have Elizabeth come over and take care of this door here. How in the world? Let's get her up there. So we can hopefully do this next fight really easy. I'm just going to toss a couple little fire things and hopefully this, hopefully this fight will be over as soon as it begins. So I'll fire one right about there. Fire another. Oh, and we'll throw another up there, and they should pretty much be dead. Oh, did I not get them all? He's alive. You're alive. All right, there we go. Now we're done. Somebody survived. Somebody survived. Are we going to get our frost out? Create a little bridge. Get a thing and a thing. Couple things. We're going to need two things. Thing one right there. Thing two right there. Boom. Did it. Super speedy. All right. On we go. Um, and we're almost to the end now, actually. Pretty much getting up to the boss fight here. Yep, maybe like a couple minutes left or something. All right, let me go check the exhaust vent. Yeah, we've probably got about two, two plus minutes here. So I'll make sure to give you a nice good heads up when the, the run's getting over here. All right, so we'll let her kind of go towards that little vent that we're gonna run over here. This part's like weird. She's like, you need to go close this vent. And then we get over here and I'm like, I don't want to do it. And she's like, if you don't do it, I will. And you're like, okay, do it. And she's like, what? What? How can you make me do this? It's kind of weird. What? <laughs> she's also surprised. What? Lord have mercy. Why would you tell me to do such a thing? Some extra ammo if we need it. We didn't need it. All right, let's go. All right, so do a little boss fight. This boss fight takes probably about a minute, and after the boss fight, this little sister is gonna crawl out of the vent, and I'm gonna grab her. And when I grab her, um, that's the end of the run. So we got we got probably about a minute here. Okay, so this fight's an interesting one. We want to do we want to freeze him, the big daddy here. We're gonna fight a big daddy, so we want to freeze him and then do as much damage as we can to him while he's frozen. Um, and maybe we'll get lucky, and Elizabeth will give us like an extra thing of salts. Or ammo or something, but we're also gonna like summon the samurai to come help us finish the fight. And hopefully that's hopefully the samurai will be a really good distraction, but we'll see. Sometimes he is, not always. Oh yeah, you just take your time there, buddy. That's wonderful. Thank you, lady. Well, that way, there we go. Alright, so probably in a few seconds, like five, four, three, two, one, done. There we go. That's the end of the run. 
that's the end of the run. That fight was okay. That fight could have gone maybe a little faster. Um, but that fight wasn't too terribly bad. That big daddy is, is that's that's the big the big boss fight there. Um, yeah, there we go. That's the game there, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. it the Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea. Uh, it's 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 a it's a, good, it's a weird little run. It's an odd one. It's kind of a strange little little thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I will. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll give one one last shout out to my Bioshock community. Like I say, a friendly friendly group of folks there who are more than happy to to lend their knowledge and, and uh, advice and help you out with some tricks and stuff. And these games, all these Bioshock games, have kind of a, a fairly friendly learning curve. They're good games to run. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll go ahead and sign off. Thanks very much for having me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. Go ahead and, and donate. Donate all that money. We're almost up to a 1,000. That's a pretty good milestone. That's not bad at all. Um, I have, have yet to donate, but I, I certainly will be donating. I'll have to find, find one of the incentives to donate it towards. But yeah, like I say, thanks for having me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, Ben, the Midwest Speed Fest legend himself. We did have a dono during the run. It was $25 from Cross Ryan that said, Get it, boy! Thank you, um, Ryan, for the dono. The next donation sent up, because Monkey Ball was met, is the Ren and Stimpy present Stimpy's Invention. It is currently sitting at $177 of $190, so... If you're a math major, you know that's only like $13. I'm a music major, so I only need to count to four. But you can donate towards that. I know Ben was looking for that. If you want something cool, you can donate towards the Sonic the Hedgehog Zool Glitched Showcase. That's also happening on Sunday. Us, and you then you can also donate to Barbie. Because Barbie. But that needs $191. Coming up next is our Mortal Kombat block. Going 1, 2, 3, Ultimate 3. With Dark Tenka and Peanut Fan swapping back and forth. And then after that is going to be some Barney's Hide and Seek game. Co-op any percent no controller. Add some Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Before we'll hand it over to Arctic and Chubbis. And go late into the night. And yeah. I hope y'all are enjoying <laughs> Barbie. I wonder who's playing that one. You have to donate to find out. It's a surprise. We all know it's Manix and it's an IRL run. Oh. Donating. We are going for Save the Children. Oh. This one's actually kind of close to my heart because when I started organizing my own marathons, we oh. did Save the Children for three marathons. And so it was really cool when I came back and Ness and Man was like, Hey, can you host? Um, they were doing Save the Children as well. But yeah, I'm gonna get something to drink, go back to me and Ness rambling about Super Monkey Ball things. 